Kathy, I can't believe it's been 17 years since you started working here. It seems like yesterday time has gone by so fast. It's been a pleasure to work with you and alongside you throughout the years. Thank you for your hard work and dedication to the students and staff of MCHS, your professionalism, your friendship, the laughter and tears we've shared over the years. We're going to miss you, not only because of the work that you do, but because of who you are and what you have meant to all of us. Well, there's a lot of things I'd love to say about Kathy Jackson. The first one is how she's always willing, no matter what or how many things she has on her plate. If you go down and say, Kathy, could you please, she's always willing and able to help you out with a smile. You have been uh truly a joy to work with. You're always smiling and you're even more organized than I am. So uh, you always kept me on the straight and narrow and I, I really appreciate that. My parrot head buddy uh, here on staff. Uh, uh, Kathy just, uh, you know, never, never even thought that she was going to retire and then we saw the picture of the boat and <laughs> like uh, no, no kidding. So, but Kathy's always been fun, uh, so helpful when, with all of us on staff with, uh, that sometimes are dysfunctional when it comes to bills and money and uh, uh, her, her even keel of just yeah we'll, we'll get it done so um, uh, I'm really gonna miss uh, having Kathy in there. The hiking trip won't be the same without you we've had a, a lot of great adventures on the trails over the years and we've seen some amazing spots you and I and uh, I'll cherish those those moments those memories on the trail uh, you know forever going forward and <clears throat> as much sailing as you're going to do, I hope you, uh, from time to time, try to get on dry land and get some hiking in. I don't want you to get uh, too soft uh, living on your little boat of luxury there. Oh, Kathy, my dear friend, I'm so going to miss you. Um, we've had lots of laughs and giggles in the front office and quiet times that we've shared together. Kathy, Colette and I uh, were out for dinner one night and we decided we were going to go to Montana's for uh, all-you-can-eat ribs. And we had to be rolled out of there. We were so stuffed and we laughed so hard that, uh, yeah, it was one of the moments that I will always, always remember. Well, Kathy, I came to work here in February of 2007. So that means that we've been office buddies for 10 years. I've always enjoyed hearing about your weekend activities on Monday mornings and, how, and your cheerful good mornings every other day of the week. I know that I'll think of you often, like when I need change for my pop cup, or when a caller calls saying he can't figure out how to pay on cash net, or when Dave's auto calls saying the MFAB is ready to be picked up and needs $100 worth of repairs. I'll think of you when I need stamps, or when a sick kid starts to heave in the office. And when I'm ready to open the window because it's like 25 degrees in the office, I'll have visions of you putting on a sweater. Kathy is incredibly organized and she is incredibly kind. She is so much fun to have around and I am really gonna miss just sharing jokes with her and seeing her laugh. Happy, happy, smiling, and I'm sure she probably had a bottle of wine in her bottom drawer and that's why she was happy and smiling all the time. <laughs> oh, level-headed, competent, friendly, Cherry. Super organized, keeps us on task, keeps me organized, money, um, all the things that we need to keep the school afloat she helped us out with. Conscientious. She's got everything down to a dollar and a cent, let me tell you. Efficient. Kathy is the model of efficiency. Wicked sense of humor. Uh, just a caring person, I think. She's, uh, you know, Kathy's. Uh, uh, seems to really care about the school and care about her colleagues and you know she's just a loving person. A great friend. Fun loving, uh, you, you know just calm demeanor but underneath there's a there's a little fire going on underneath there and so. Uh, thrifty because she keeps us accountable and uh, I know in life she probably isn't but in her job she definitely was you know making us kind of look at every angle of everything before we we jumped in. I just think of the person that I, she was a go-to girl. Anytime you needed help with something, anytime you, you needed the answer to something, she always had it. She was always there for you. Action Jackson. What can I say about Kathy? She, she's bailed me out of a lot of holes over the years, hey? Kathy's been uh, 
uh, you know, as part of the phys ed department in athletics, uh, she's, I've worked with her quite a bit over the years and she's very creative and uh, helps me, you know, uh, stay on top of things when uh, it's easy to fall behind in the money things and she always seems to know what she's doing and, you know, it's uh, a great thing to have in your school, somebody who says, um, you know, she doesn't ever get rattled, she doesn't ever get worried about things, never gets, loses her temper, and especially when you're coming in there at the last second and asking for checks and things like that, so. When it comes to Kathy and money, um, there's so many times where I think probably so many staff members can probably keep this in the same case. Uh, dealing with money and handing money over for whatever things, it's always the last thing on our mind. And Kathy, I think, has, has an understanding for that. She realizes that we're very busy people. Uh, teachers are generally not known for not being very good with money. So I just always appreciated that Kathy knew what I owed and what I had to pay and would kind of giggle and laugh when like, oh, Darcy hasn't paid that again. But she'd keep reminding me until finally she'd corner me and, and say, you got to pay this. And so Kathy, over all the years, uh, thanks. Well, Kathy, I, I'm sure there's probably nobody that's given you as much of a hard time as I have over the last few years and given you as much work. I know when I showed up to the office there with my, my Costanza wallet and all my receipts falling out, I could just see you uh, cringe as I walked into the office. So, Kathy, uh, my visa receipts are, I don't know where they are. Uh, I never know where they are, but yet uh, you've been always so patient with me, uh, you know, asking time and time again to, for me to bring a wallet in or to bring this in or to bring in that and, you know, uh, reminding me that Billy Pritchard isn't at the school anymore and that uh, I don't have to beat anybody bringing my money in last. So uh, for that, I, I, I'm very much thankful that you've been uh, that, uh, uh, you know, uh, patient uh, as, a, as, a, as a financial officer here at MCHS. I always appreciate when she come in the office and I would say, hey, I want to spend some money and I would get a nervous laugh out of her saying, well, we don't really have any money done. She's money. So you go to her and you say, hey, Kathy, can I do this? Or, hey, Kathy, can I do that? And, oh, I don't know, Wade. And then she'll be like, oh, I think we can. And so I really value that because we throw, and I personally throw, a ton of stuff at you and or Kathy, I should say, where she has to find a way, and she always does. She was very good at keeping me in line in terms of, Don, yeah, it's a great idea, but you don't have the money to do that. And I always appreciate that. Um, she watched the books as closely as she did because it's very easy to spend money, very hard to make money, uh, but very easy to spend and so I definitely appreciate her keeping me in line. Kathy, I think you are the person that actually operates this domain here. I know you're the money person and I don't know if you're just super savvy. What was the name of your boat again? Is it the MCHS Enterprise? I'm not too sure uh, if uh, if we're helping with your travels abroad, but you are the master of money. Funny how we're always in debt, but yet suddenly she buys a yacht out of nowhere and takes off. Brilliant mastermind. She's gonna have to tell us one day how she did it. Kathy Jackson, you, uh, you have earned a lot of retirement, uh, well, a long and, and healthy retirement, just because you've had to deal with all of us for this many years. And uh, I tip my hat to you and just, again, you're, how calm you are, how good-natured you are, you never ever have a, it seems like you never have a bad day. And that's really appreciative. It's just always nice to walk into the, into the, into the office to see all you secretaries, but you always have such a nice, warm, friendly face and it's going to be missed. And uh, I wish you a tremendous happiness in your retirement, so thank you. You know what, uh, you've done remarkable things here. People appreciate you and we're going to wish you the very best and we want to see some pictures and we want you to keep updating us in terms of how your journey is going and you know what, hopefully you've inspired some other people to live their dream too because uh, the fact that you're doing this is an inspiration to everybody else. Enjoy the water, I know she loves the water so much and uh, she'll be a great uh, mermaid on the sea there. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, go catch some fish for me, Kathy. I'm very envious. Uh, enjoy the wine on your uh, grand crew. 
and uh, maybe I can be part of your crew one day. That would be fabulous. Well, I don't think you could have a better one <laughs> from what they've got uh, going on. You know, Reed and, and Kathy going out into the, basically sailing off into the sunset. That is every retiree's dream. So good on you guys for doing that and, and enjoy it because that is, like I said, the most ultimate retirement. Kathy Manana. I know how excited you are for your big adventure and wish you only clear skies, happy sailing ahead. Enjoy all the adventures that await you. I also know that we need to keep you safe during hurricane season, so to help you out with that, Doris, Chrissy and I will be taking some additional time off during the months of October and November, so we're hoping you can clear your calendar to come in and sub for us. The dates are indicated in green that we will need sub coverage for, and we really, really hope you can schedule and accommodate us. All the best, Kathy. Best of luck in your future, Kath. Uh, have, have a ton of fun sailing around the world. Um, keep us in mind. Don't forget about us. Kathy definitely is going on to a new stage and uh, man, I am envious of you going off sailing and uh, you know what? Uh, I think you did mention that uh, we should come down and visit you and you know what? We're going to try and visit you on that sailboat. That would be fantastic. Hey, enjoy. It'll be fabulous. Kathy, I wish you the very best of luck next year. I can't wait to hear about your adventures and follow your blog. And I just pray that you're going to have a wonderful retirement with your husband and on that beautiful boat of yours. And I hope that your travels will take you back here so we can at least catch up with you and see how you're doing and how you're loving this new lifestyle of yours. Uh, thanks so much for all you did for uh, for the school, Kathy, for me, and uh, for all your patience over the years and uh, in starting up the Urban Ag course. Appreciate it a lot, Kathy. Enjoy your retirement. I can just picture you out there enjoying the seas and the sun, and I can't think of a more worthy person to, to be on that boat than you. So I wish you and your husband the best of luck. Better you than me. I'd get seasick. I just uh, hope you and Reed have the, uh, the best adventures uh, going into retirement. I mean, it's fantastic. You're going to... You know, everyone keeps saying it, but you're living the dream, and, and, and you are. So uh, enjoy it for as long as the ride lasts. And, uh, you know, it's just like hiking down the trail. You don't know where that trail is going to lead, but uh, there's inevitably going to be a fantastic view or a sunset at the end. So, uh, so uh, you know, be, be sure to enjoy that. I'm really happy for you. I know that you've had this sailing retirement plan in mind for a few years already, and I'm glad that everything is going according to that plan. Seeing you make your dream come true has given me reason to believe that the future is full of opportunities and beginnings. Enjoy every minute. You deserve it. Congratulations, good luck, and be sure to keep in touch. I will miss you. 